Hi, I'm Robert, and this is Experience CTN, where we're going to learn more about CTN's volunteers and producers, and those who have supported community media over the past years. I'm here with Frederick Jackson, a local community producer. Hi, Frederick. How Hi. are you? How are you doing? I'd like to say thank you for coming in here and speaking with us today. Thanks so much. Glad to be here. Yeah. Uh, first, I'd like to say you are finally dressed today, and I knew <laughs> that you were going to come in here and really look good. So I wanted to put a tie on, but I should have done a suit coat, too. Hey, so. very sharp, very sharp. I appreciate the style. Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. do you, I heard you like fashion. Do you like to make your own clothes? I do. You know, I, um, you know my grandmother taught me how to sew, you know, as a youngster. And, uh, you know, I've been making my own clothes for years, and, uh, you know, I enjoy fashion. I believe that you only have one time to make a first impression, yeah. and that uh, fashion and style is definitely important. And, you know, you speak to people even, you know, uh, without saying anything with the presentation. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when you're making an impression, you, you know, it should always be your best foot forward. And you should dress for the occasion, you know, uh, because it speaks to, you know, who you are and what you're trying to say is, uh, you know, where you're coming from. What would you say, like for men, what would be something like an easy way for them to improve their, uh, I guess, look, or something that a lot, a lot of men don't do that you would think that they could easily? Uh, well, I work think on? that uh, I think now, especially uh, men, should uh, it starts with grooming. Uh, you know, uh, you know, one of our rules from where we come from is, uh, you know, you're not totally dressed if you don't have the grooming. So it really starts from the feet up. You know, you start with the grooming. Uh, there's nothing wrong with, uh, you know, the pedicure, manicure, you know, All right. there's nothing wrong with, uh, you know, scaping, you know, uh, you know, getting your hair cut, trimmed, whatever it is. All right. And then, of course, you know, you start, of course, you know, with the bathing and, and then the fashion, you know, your details, you know, the polished shoes. Mm -hmm. So it's from the feet up, you know, right, you should yeah. always be styling. And then, uh, you know, a man should always have, you know, a hat for every occasion as well. Mm -hmm. You know, so you should, uh, it's from the, head, from the feet up style, you know, whether it's casual or dressy and, uh, you know, have a hat for all occasions, especially with the kind of climate that we have here in, uh, here in Michigan. It can change at any minute. Right. All right. Yeah, great. Yeah, you can't really allow the clothes to do all the work for you. Absolutely. So appreciate that advice. So uh, now that we're at CTN, kind of talk to me about your journey to come towards, uh, you know, television, radio production. Where did you begin uh, in your in this Well, um, you know, it's, it's ironic that I would, you know, enjoy television. When I was a youngster uh, in uh, Emerson Junior High School, um, there was a radio personality, one of the first African-American radio personalities in Ann Arbor at WAAM Radio. And his name was Electrifying Mojo. And Mo Electrifying Mojo, you know, you never saw Electrifying Mojo. You would hear him and we all would tune in to the channel, you know, here in Ann Arbor to hear Electrifying Mojo. We're like, wow. I got here in Ann Arbor and we would all listen to the music and, and so on and so forth. And then I got interested. So when I, get in high, when I got to high school, I started WRHS Radio, which was a radio station in my high school. And at lunchtime, you know, I would play music and, uh, and they called me FJ the DJ. So and it was ironic that uh, music and, uh, you know, theater and, and, and acting and film would be something that I would grow up to do. Mm. Yeah. So, did you ever get to meet uh, Electrified Mojo? I did. He came to the school, yeah. and uh, when I started the radio station, he heard that I listened to him, and he yeah. came to the station to meet me. I was like, hey, they was like, guess who's here? And I was like, ooh, they were like, Electrified Mojo. So, we spoke a lot about it. I told him I was very influenced by him and uh, his radio show. And then, of course, in my neighborhood, people played a lot of great music. So, you know, um, my neighbors, Next door, uh, you know, uh, the Murphys and Billy Williams would always play some great music. I'm like, wow. And uh, he follows me on social media and says, yeah, I'm glad I was that influence. So I grew up with a lot of music mm. in the church, you know, right, uh, that right. kind of thing. Uh, did he look at all like how he sounded on the radio or um, she? No. Um, well, he was, it, was a, it was a male, and mm -hmm. um, he was an interesting character. And uh, I, I said, well, you know why, you know, no one knew what he looked like. Mm -hmm. And he said the reason why that he didn't want anybody to know what he looked like and he did radio because, you know, uh, he would never grow old, you know, because nobody mm -hmm. would know what he looked like. Oh, so yeah. that's why he okay. did the whole mystery of like the fine mojo thing. But, you know, he took the time to come and meet me. So that was fantastic mm -hmm. that he did that. And then uh, WRHS radio was kind of interesting, you know, when I was in school because nobody was doing it. You know, I'm playing the music during lunch and I'm on the PA system and mic and everybody would tune in at lunchtime and listen to the radio show, mm -hmm. you know, in high school. So that was right. pretty interesting. So 
Now, it, uh, as you, we kind of discussed a little bit, you had that continue, that kind of passion continue into your college years, and Absolutely. you did some work at uh, Eastern as Eastern well? Eastern Michigan yeah. University, yes. I, um, you know, I went to Eastern Michigan University, and of course, you know, we got to give big ups to, you know, Washington and Clary, but I went, uh, when I was at Eastern, um, you know, I was in the film program, mm -hmm. film and video, and, uh, you know, I have watched CTN for a long time. I would see the different shows, and um, you know, uh, uh, the gentleman would, that would do the ballrooming and then the exercise, you know, at the Mary Lou Center. And right. you know, it was always interesting channel. I'm like, wow, this is really interesting. Right here, there were people in our area. I'm like, wow, you know, I, I want to find a way to do some programming on CTN. Mm -hmm. So I've been watching CTN for a long time, you know. All right, right. So when you first kind of came in here, um, what were some of the... I guess you, after seeing them uh, on TV, what was also like? What did you learn here? What was some of the processes that you enjoyed learning from? And well, CTN is fantastic for a lot of reasons. First, let me say this: I want to thank you, you know, for the interview, You're doing a great job, mm -hmm. and I always thank everybody behind the scenes. You know, all the camera people that's doing the camera work, and uh, you know, the people that's in the booth, the directors, and um, there was a lot of interesting people. You know, when I uh, first came, you know, the CTN, the old firehouse, you know. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, of course, you know, Ralph was there, Lucy and, and Debbie and different mm -hmm. folks. And then, of course, you know, you know, Mike and Alicia, you know, and, uh, you know, Craig and Greg, and I could go on and on. So I didn't name anyone. You know, all the people that, you know, are doing it in the mix now. Mm -hmm. And uh, then the people that were producing the shows were interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I was like, wow, I learned a lot. I learned, uh, you know, uh, about being in the booth, uh, sound. Mm -hmm. Learned about uh, you know the lighting, how you can do your lighting and design lighting, back lighting, front lighting. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, working the camera, what it means mm -hmm. to have the right shot, and what it means to make sure that you know how the sound mm -hmm. is. But being in the booth and learning the technical aspects of producing the show, uh, you know, CTN is, is a fantastic venue for that. Great, yeah. I, I just always appreciate you coming in here and seeing how hard you're working on your show and mm -hmm. all the stuff that you're learning. And mm -hmm. I mean. I, I came here also, too, just, uh, you know, to be a part of CTN because of the people I enjoyed working with. And, Absolutely. And so I think that's something we both share. I, in yes. fact, I said, you know, I, I would only do an interview if you and another person who I enjoy here oh, were, would be the guest. So, so I'm, I'm glad that you said came out here. So, yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, why, don't, why don't we have a look at one of the, your clips right now of, that you've done, and then we'll, we'll talk about that. Excellent. Yeah, yeah let's do that. Let's have a look. What's going on? We're going to tell you on the plan, of course, for doing our thing. We appreciate you getting down in the mix. Uh, we're having a good time as we're riding and rolling. You know, I've been trying some different things today, you know, with um, our virtual sets. Of course, we are virtual on all the mixes that we do, no question. And we're doing our thing online, and you know, we're going totally virtual VR. You know, we do our thing, of course, and we appreciate everybody that's been getting down with us in the mix and everybody that's checking us out today. I'm your host, Frederick Jackson. We're doing our thing, and I think today I want to look at some Ohio players as we doing it, you know what I mean? I got some interesting clips, of course, and, uh, you know, we're doing some different things. We try to stay innovative and cutting edge. We're doing our thing, no question about it, as we do it and make it happen. Let's visit some Ohio players, though. Let's do uh, Want to Be Free. We're doing our thing and having a great time. As I enjoy the music and I'm riding with you, appreciate you getting down with me and uh, appreciate you watching the show. Let's do it like this, get that ready. They call this one I Want to Be Free. Let's do it like this as we're doing our thing, no question. All right, great, yeah. That's so it. that the Hotline Studio is where you filmed that, at, and uh, I've seen Absolutely. you working a lot in there. Do you? How do you like that? Well, I like the Hotline Studio. Um, actually, you know, I think that uh, you know, I was one of the first ones to ever do Hotline Studio. I remember when it was first introduced. Uh, I thought it was a great venue. Being uh, the doing, the, you can't beat the big studio with the three cameras shooting in the crew. That's fantastic. I urge anyone um, that's out there that want to have a voice, you know, support all the producers and people that are doing programming, you know what I mean, and come and be a part of, you know, uh, helping with the production of a show. Mm -hmm. uh, you, that's, I think, the main uh, way to really appreciate uh, and learn, you mm -hmm. know, whether you're a younger person, whether you're an older person, uh, whether you're middle age, you know, yeah, whatever your age is, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. Um, it's a great venue in which to come be a part of the crew, uh, learn how to do it and with the technology, uh, you know, you want to keep up on uh, the changes uh, so you can uh, learn how to produce something. And, and uh, let me say this too, um, you know, I watch a lot of uh, different uh, community channels around the world, around the globe, and CTN is one of the best produced 
channels, you know what I mean, uh, globally. You know, I watch it, uh, all the different CTN show, New York, Chicago, you know, European countries, African countries, and CTN has some of the best produced, you know, graphics and quality, sound, lighting, and the way it's shot and edited, so. Yeah, great. Yeah. Hey, you've been a part of CTN also for quite a while, haven't you? Yeah, I mean, long how long? How long? Oh, who? Uh, what is this? Twenty seventeen. Yeah. Uh, I think <laughs> I think I have been a part of uh, CTN since nineteen ninety eight. Wow, that's <laughs> quite a while. <laughs> Could be before that. I had to think about it. For right, a right. You know, it's over. It's quite a, quite a few years. You, you've also, in addition to CTN and the other work, you've also done some work with Puffer Reds. I, I'm kind well, of curious. You know, over the years, um, you know, I've done um, signed artist interviews. You know, any, mm -hmm. most of the people that you see on, uh, you know, major shows now, you know, a lot of the shows you've seen, uh, whether it's uh, Idol or X Factor or whatever, some of the hottest shows you see on some of the, you know, whether it's BT, VH1, MTV, and some mm -hmm. Showtime, HBO, a lot of people I have, uh, you know, done interviews with over the years because um, the music business and the film business is a connection. It's who you know. And, um, you know, uh, when you uh, drop an album or a movie, there's certain people that you need to talk to to get the word out, you mm -hmm. know. And uh, I was one of the people uh, that right. uh, did that with Puffer Red and other people have done promotions. Mm -hmm. But mostly Puffer Red when he's done promotions uh, and artists come, radio personalities come, and, uh, and I've been there to do it. All right. Is there any uh, memorable ones that you'd like to talk about? Wait, wait. Oh, there's so many. Um, you know, I met pro athletes, uh, you know, from the Lions, the Tigers. I've been uh, seeing many uh, productions, uh, you know what I mean. I've you know, I could go on and on. A couple of my favorite ones, um, let me see, one of my favorite ones was, uh, you know, uh, Andre 3000 played Jimi Hendrix in the latest movie. And I, I met them, the whole crew, mm -hmm. uh, which, uh, you know, consists of, you know, people like CeeLo Green and Big Gip and those guys. So, um, Andre 3000, uh, big boy who was in ATL, uh, he's been in several movies on ATL with T.I., of course. Uh, the has been in uh, many movies. They've done Idlewild, uh, one of my favorite. A lot of R&B singers, uh, you know, uh, Chauncey Billups from the Pistons. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I met a lot of A&R people from uh, DreamWorks, uh, BMI, BMG. Uh, just a whole nine. Anything that had the DreamWorks, uh, you know, just a lot of people over the years that you meet. Wow. Well, that's quite an array that you've met. Um, I guess, is, is there anything else that you'd like to kind of add and, or say to anybody else who is interested in pursuing TV or media? Uh, what, what would you say that you, you would, or encouragement or advice that you'd give Absolutely. to them? Absolutely, uh, both. The encouragement. First, uh, let me say this. I appreciate everyone uh, over the years and currently, you know, of course, and going to do it in the future, and yourself, um, you know, who is producing, you know, shows, coming to CTN and um, supporting, and whether you're volunteering on the shows, whether you're uh, behind the sound, whether you're directing the show, or whatever the case is, this is the venue to have your voice. And especially now with everything being digital, um, it's great to have your voice be heard. It truly is uh, something that we want to keep and preserve and continue to support the community. Um, and it's good to work with people, you know, people that are doing shows. So it's great to volunteer, learn how to do the camera, learn about lighting, learn about sound, learn about directing, and you can't beat the different classes you can take, you know, to right. learn how to do a production. So, uh, right. and have your voice be heard. And uh, let me say the quality of the shows, uh, fantastic, a lot. the graphics, the sound, and uh, you know, I like uh, you know, the spots that you've done. I see your spot, uh, oh, yeah, some right. of the work you've done as well. So everybody here is CTN, from the interns to the staff, I appreciate them all. And this is the venue. So my advice to you is come down, get involved, help out on the production, and uh, take the classes and learn how to, uh, you know, the media, how to do a show. Great. Well, thank you for coming on. Thanks so and, much. And we hope to see more from you. Thank you. Great. Thanks. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for future episodes. In the meantime, why not come in and experience all we have to offer for yourself? Visit us online at a2gov.org front slash CTN or follow us on Twitter and Facebook at CTN Ann Arbor. I want to thank our crew, Matthew Drake, Gage Shaughnessy, KJ Johnson, Lana Hershenson, Kyle Wagner, Aaron Foster, and Alicia May. And I'm your host, Robert Horn. See you next time.